in my shadow to never have sunlight on your face. You were content to let be shy. That's your way. You always walked a stare getting out of here and getting some food. So I'll make this quick because it's chilly and my toes are cold. 
as I stated before, I'm very humbled to be here. Um, you know, Colonel Smith, I thank you. When I thought about this day, and I've been thinking about it for about a year or so, I, I, there was no doubt in my mind who would be doing this. You are the epitome of a leader. And you're a, when you talk about taking care of people, I've seen the battles because we've been there in the trenches together. And I've seen the things that he's done for our, for our enlisted and for our folks and for the unit. And when I tell you this man is awesome, he is awesome. And I thank God that he had put me in a place to be with a leader like this. So I thank you, sir. Thank you. To my flight attendants, the tip of the spear. No one knows but he who feels it. I thank you from the bottom of my heart because because of you, I'm standing here. Everybody think that I do such a great job or you know, the flight tests are great because of me? No, I wouldn't be standing here. The flight tests are great because of you. You make it happen every day despite the obstacles. And I thank you for being who you are because again, I would not be standing here. My job was easy because of what you all did and you made it easy for me. So I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. To my fellow chiefs, we know the numbers are few, but the few is what makes the many. Each one that touch one makes it go and that's what it's about. So continue to do what you do because I know you get it and maybe some of those other ones can get, get in here and get along as well. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, some of the things I want to impart on you, three things. Uh, I'm going to touch a little bit on leadership. I'm going to touch a little bit on accountability. And I'm going to touch a little bit about being a servant leader. Leadership. One of the things that uh, my, a, friend of, a good friend of mine that um, you know, kind of runs the production for Tops of Blue, the performance part of it, he always says leadership is not convenient. A lot of times we think as leaders it's all about us. And, you know, we, we, we are supposed to be the person that, that everybody caters to us because we are the leaders. That's not what it's about. It's not convenient because we need to be able to do the hard things, make the right hard decisions, despite what it looks like. We need to make the hard decisions, whether it was popular or not, and we need to stand on that. And a lot of times, we have people that are hesitant to do that. Do not ever stop doing that. We must lead by example. One of the things that I've always strived for is to lead by example. I will never ask somebody to go take out the trash if I'm not gonna take out the trash myself. You have to be able to search, show people that you can do it and it's not beneath you to do it. Be that person that you want your folks to be and that's what I've always strived to do. Respect. Recently, the chief, chief of staff on the Air Force wanted to add respect to one of our core values. But you know what? That's already part of our core values. If we adhere to that core value and, and do what it says, there would be no, no, no question about where we'd be with respect. Integrity, service, excellence, service, serve, excellence is all we do, service before self. That's what it's about. And, and being, if we respect each other, those things will come commonplace. Don't respect me because of my rank, respect, respect me because of my, my, I'm a person. You're gonna always respect me because of my rank because it's inherent in the military. But when you respect me as a person, that means I've done what I'm supposed to do. So be that leader that treats everyone with respect, whether they're an airman or whether they're a general, or whether they're a secretary of the Air Force or whoever. Always treat everybody the same, the same respect that you would always want to have. Accountability. This is a big one for me. Because in the Air Force, everybody always says, well, why, how are we going to handle these, this new millennium airmen? Or how are we going to handle these junior air, these dudes and folks coming in now? The same way we've handled it in, since our inception in 1947. The AFIs are still the AFIs, the rules are still the rules, and we hold them accountable to it, adhere to it. Listen to what they have to say, but you still hold them accountable for what they have to do. And guess what? They're going to still do their job. So there's nothing going to, um, you know, nothing's different about that. Um, accountability, ac uh, accountability for your peers. You know, a lot of times we'll see someone, you know, two master stars walk together, someone walk by and they have their hands in the pocket. And the staff sergeant has to tell the person to take their hand out of the pocket. What's wrong with that? Peer to peer. Let everybody know that, hey, we need to hold each other accountable because guess what? They're watching. And if you let somebody slip, then they're going to let somebody slip and they're going to let somebody slip. And that's how we lose wars and that's how we become the worst Air Force in the world. 
be accountable to your troops. As leaders, we need to know what's required for them. We need to train them. We need to take care of them. We need to give them the feedback. We need to mentor them, and a lot of times that's lacking. They shouldn't be coming to you asking you what they need to do. You should be going to them, get, tell, giving them an expectation, and holding them accountable to that expectation. If that happens, then everything will be better. Servant leadership. I think this is the, the most important one for me. I've always strived to be a servant leader because like, like Christ, he was a servant leader. And I think in the Air Force, pretty much most of our great leaders are servant leaders. It's not about you. It's never been about you. And it will never be about you. If you are a leader, it's always about what can I do to make the mission happen and how do I take care of my people to make sure that happens. Whenever you put your people first, the mission is gonna happen. You need to be able to be empathetic. You need to be able to put a boot when you need to put a boot. And you need to tell somebody, if the baby's ugly, tell them the baby's ugly. Don't sit there and try to say, oh, everything is okay. No, it's not okay. You're late, you've always been late, you need to get it together or you're gonna have to be out of here. Because this is what we want. A lot of times, we're afraid to do that. But that's being a part of a servant leader. I'll say to you right now, I'm, I'm gonna cut it short because I know we're short for time and it's cold. And I thank you for bearing with me. Um, my family, my, my, like the Colonel said, my faith, my family and the Air Force is very important to me. I talk about leaving a legacy. I hope that my life has been a legacy to many of you. And I see it. And I see it. I see it. I see it. And what I want you to know is that if it can be done, it can be done, but it's up to you. Be the leader that you want to be. Be the person that you want to be, and everything will be great. I am humbled and I thank you for being here. This, this is, you know, I'm gonna hold it back, but I, I thank you and it's from the bottom of my heart. Oh, I was remiss. I left out my Thompson Blue family. My Thompson Blue family, you know, and we'll talk about it on, more on Saturday, but right here, you have helped make me who I am today as well. My family, I love you. From the bottom of my heart, I love you. And, 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 like I, and like Charmaine says, if it wasn't for you, I would not be here. And I thank you for the values that you instilled in, instilled in me from when I was little. And I continue to keep that. And I hope that I have done you proud and that I'll continue to do you proud throughout the rest of my life. I love you all and thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. The men and the women of the 89th Operations Group are proud to have served with Chief Felger. We wish her and her family every success in their future endeavors. Please join the Felger family for a reception immediately following the ceremony. In keeping with the tradition, we will conclude with the Air Force song and departure of the official party. Please rise that for our visit.